with another review video, this time um, one that I wasn't planning on doing quite yet until I noticed the expiration date on it and realized I should probably get to this sooner rather than later. But this one is the Blistex Fruit Smoothies Peaches and Cream. And this is one of their bonus flavors. I'm sure most of you have definitely seen that trio pack of the Blistex Fruit Smoothies. And occasionally you'll find a pack of four because it has a bonus flavor in it. And there's a few different versions of that. There's There was originally this peaches and cream one. There's also been an orange creamsicle one or orange cream... I think it was orange creamsicle. And there was also a strawberry banana one. I think that was the newest one. But being peach, I had to have it even though the expiration date had recently passed. But since it's not an organic product, the expiration date isn't that important ultimately. So I figure... No harm done, but at the same time, I'd rather review it sooner rather than later, just to not give it a chance to possibly go wonky or anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. So, um, anyway. Yeah, I also noticed these things are a little bit smaller than typical tubes of standard lip balm. And when I looked at the amount of product you get in it, yeah, it is definitely less than you typically get, so... There is that. I'm also not sure if this is like that other Blistex product where if you peel the label... Nope, nope, nope. It's just a very weirdly loose label. So anyway, yeah. So format-wise, it's just a stick. And packaging-wise, like I said, it's smaller than typical size. But I mean, I suppose that makes it better for jamming in your pocket or something in that weird little... Do I have one on these pants? I do. Um, you know that pocket that nobody really knows what it's for. That one right there, those little tiny ones, perfect for popping in there, right? So, um, I suppose there's that, but other than that, I'm not really sure why these are smaller, but they are. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Um, it's just white pearlescent plastic for the actual package, but the label is a Slightly pearlescent white as well with orange writing on it and a little picture of a peach diving into some cream. It's kind of cute. But yeah, so this is not natural or organic or any of that. It's still synthetic because it is Blistex, but it is limited edition. It even says so right there. Limited edition. If it'll focus. Is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus. Okay, whatever. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so it was part of that four pack of fruit smoothies, which at this point I think the only way to get it is to buy from eBay, but yeah, it is findable, it's just the expiration date was in October of this past year, 10-15, so I mean, it's still recent enough to where you can get away with using it, but yeah, that. Depending on how much the expiration dates mean to you, you may want to stay away from it if you're really weird about that, or some of you, like me, kind of disregard those usually unless it's an organic product and keep using them anyway as long as they don't smell or look weird. But yeah, the amount of product you get, where did it say it? Yeah, it's 0 0.10 ounces. So that's like, I think a third less product than a typical stick. That's why it looks so small. Uh, price point on this, I don't know what the original pricing was on this exact set, but I'm Assuming it was just like the other fruit smoothies, modern versions that have the extra one in it, but God help me if I can remember what that pricing was because I bought the newer version of it about a year ago and I honestly don't recall. If any of you guys know what it is, leave it in the comments for me, but I don't think anybody honestly cares that much, but it is one of those... Typical standard drugstore lip balms that you find just about everywhere, or even in supermarkets, so I can't imagine it was more than a few dollars. Anyway, so sturdiness-wise, um, it's pretty decent. Um, maybe a little bit on the thin side with the plastic, because, I mean, you can see it doing that. It does feel like the recycled plastic feel, but other than that, it's not bad. Um, it's got SPF 15 in it, and I believe there was a couple medications, but they were mostly just the, um, sunscreen and lip protectant ones, so, like, dimethicone and stuff like that. So nothing, like, heavily medicated, just the regular, standard run-of-the-mill stuff. So anyway, most importantly, the scent. It's a very, very light, peachy, 
creamy scent. It's mostly just peach, but, um, but it's very pleasant. It's just very, very light, so you almost don't smell it at all. But, yeah, it's just standard white wax. There you go. does have a sweet taste to it. I'm trying to tell if it's peach or not. I think it's just standard run-of-the-mill sweet taste without being so much a specific taste. But it's definitely a peachy scent, and you can kind of a little bit smell it on your lips, but again, it's pretty light, so I can't imagine this would bother anybody. But yeah, um, consistency-wise, it is on the thicker side, which is surprising for how small this is. I was expecting this is going to be one of those things that's gone in like a minute, but with it being this thick, I imagine you wouldn't have to reapply it nearly as much, so I guess it could feasibly stand up to lasting a while. That's kind of cool. Um, it is sort of like that thickish chapstick type feel, like not the bad kind of greasy, but it is kind of greasy. Um, but it's very smooth and it applies softly and it goes on very nicely. So I have no complaints with that. Um, doesn't feel sticky on your lips, but if you touch like a finger to your lips, there is a little bit of greasiness there. Not so much sticky, but there is definite grease factor if anything touches your lips. So like, if you were to kiss somebody with this stuff on, I could see them potentially maybe having a little issue with that. But other than that, it, just for what it is and for how it feels on your own lips, it's pretty nice. Shine factor, um, mm, it's got a fair degree of shine to it without it being super glossy, so I would say that, uh, it does definitely feminize it a bit, but it's not so shiny to where a guy couldn't use it if he wanted to, so it's still enough to technically be unisex, but... It does have some visible shine factor to it, so that is a thing. However, in snowy climates, I don't think anybody is judging that hard because it's necessary. But yeah, um, let's see, overall rating on this. I really like that scent, sorry. Um, I would say, um, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. I wish it were a little bigger and had more product in it, and I wish it were a permanent part of their line instead of just limited edition, but I know that I'm in the minority of people who adore peach-scented things, so there's plenty of people out there who really, really do not care for peach, so I guess that's probably why they don't have it a staple flavor or anything, but yeah, for me personally, I wish it were one that they still had and I dropped it, but um, <laughs> sorry about that, but yeah, um, Mostly it's just the fact that it's so small and how little amount of product you get in there that I don't give it a 9 or a 10. But other than that, I mean, I feel like I really do like everything about it. I wish it weren't past the technical expiration point. I'm still going to keep using it, not going to lie, because, I mean, it's, it's a synthetic and there's nothing really potentially harmful in there, at least not for the amount of time it would take me to go through a small stick like this. I could use it up before it would become problematic, so... But yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. I would recommend it if you like peach-scented things. So anyway, it's about all I have to say on this one. So as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Until next time.